What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. So, I'm here in my redstone map and somebody left a chest with a sign on it saying Wow, look what we built there. And since I'm very excited, I will just take this awesome cinematic of Doom Snowball, throw it and enjoy the show. Wow, much beauty. So cinematic. Super black and white. Very glowstone. Much wow. And this was created using my Camera Studio mod in vanilla Minecraft MC Edit filter. And actually, this compact little command block cube is everything I need there for. Um, everything we have here is a very fast redstone clock testing for snowball entities in the air and if there is one it sets a redstone block right there and what this will do is it's going to set me into game mode 3 for the smooth spectator mode vision and then it's going to teleport me if I have a camera score of at least one um, to these starting coordinates uh, yeah, which are somewhere over there where the cinematic started and um, the scoreboard objectives list at uh, the cinematic at uh, the camera uh, objective is just a dummy objective and I set it to one manually you can handle that however you want in your custom adventure map or in your redstone map or in your world or whatever you want to showcase and this is so awesome uh, let me just explain the, explain how it all works. So first, it teleports me to the starting coordinates. Um, then, uh, what we're going to have is let me just set my camera score to zero. If I now put a redstone block there, uh, this redstone block is going to move through all of these uh, command blocks and every command block gets activated one tick after the one before uh, my filter automatically like puts all of this stuff together so it uh, gets activated after each other and every of these teleports the player to a relative coordinate uh, where he is and moves him by a calculated um, difference between two points and it also calculates the time um, a player needs for to travel between two points. Um, you can actually set the time that the player will need for the whole th um, for the whole uh, camera movement, so for the whole uh, cinematic session. Uh, but I'm going to show that in MC Edit soon. And why does the reds do the redstone blocks travel through? That's actually because uh, they set the blocks to air, and then place a redstone block over here then um, there and so on and back there it's going to set uh, here the, the redstone block um, here and once it's back back here uh, it's um, going to set the redstone block all the way back here again and then it's going to just travel through and yeah it's just awesome and then finally the redstone block is going to land here what then happens is uh, it's just going to replace the block with air i created this manually you have to do this yourself but i'm going to show that later uh, then just uh, putting me into game mode one again and then deactivating the whole system again by trying to uh, set another air block but this will output no comparator signal because there already is air so this is how the stuff works. Now I'm just going to show you how to apply the whole thing. So let's say in my opinion this thing here looks pretty cool and I want to have a cinematic around it but since I'm just a horrible builder uh, you would obviously take a great build like a statue or yeah just a, a, a something really cool. Everything you need is sponge and signs. Uh, this is just to tell the MC Edit filter where uh, you want to place, uh, where you want to have the player to be. So I'm just going to. No, sorry. 
set my volume a bit down because that sponge placing sound is just awful. And let's say the first point where I want to uh, start the cinematic is going to be here at this point and to define the direction on the x-axis the player is looking at uh, I just oh sorry I place a sign on top of that uh, and the direction the sign is looking at this is going to be the direction the player looks to unfortunately you can't tell the pitch where he's looking but I don't think that's a problem so let's say I want to look at the center so I'm just going to place the sign and then I'm going to write one if you don't start with one, it's going to be horrible, it's going to throw you an error, but yeah, I hope you're not too stupid therefore. Uh, then, so this is the first point we're at. We're looking just right there. And then after that, I think we should just move a bit higher, I guess. Let's just say how we want to go there and still look kind of at the center. Then we write two. Uh, you have to like uh, tell the filter in which order it should uh, travel to the sponge sign places because otherwise there are going to be errors and yeah so it's just always going to travel the direct way from here to here like this so you should not like uh, take too complicated moves because you should rather have more sponges than just not as much sponges but yeah you will figure that out soon and so let's just say we want to have a pretty short cinematic so I'm just going to hop into MC edit and show you what you have to do there so here I am these are my sponges with a sign on top and this is just my from the barrier block filter I showed you earlier and this is where I want to travel around so I select the region but I have to make sure that all of the sponges are selected so I just yeah the signs have to be selected too by the way or no I, I'm not sure but I don't think they have to but safe is safe so okay so now everything is selected properly and now I go to filter and here I can say camera studio filter and this is the total travel time in seconds you can have up to 60 seconds because otherwise it's just going to be horribly big and you don't want that so let's say I want this uh, the travel time to be like 15 seconds I hit filter it's going to take a short time and now I can define where I want to save my schematic I don't know if you actually see that but if you do I'm just going to write a uh, tutorial cinematic okay so now the filter is done and I can import the cinematic and like uh, here we go and like put it anywhere I want in my map so this is pretty awesome it's completely coordinate independent and let's just say I want to have it here uh, you would obviously put it near your spawn if you have it like in an adventure map to make sure that all of the chunks are loaded with the uh, redstone blocks so everything works fine uh, then you just imported the schematic using import hit save and you should be done so I'm just going back to okay so there is one minor problem with the whole thing uh, this is the first command block here you will always it will always be like in the left corner and it will always be the one with the total coordinates and there's one problem you see these coordinates are nowhere near the actual coordinates of uh, the first sponge I don't know why uh, it's it would work if I would not use a schematic but this is actually just a, a very weird bug so let me just take um, the block coordinates I'm at this is obviously an MC edit bug so I can't do anything against it this is not my fault but yeah so I just took uh, the coordinates where I were travel back here get myself the coordinates and actually the yaw is correct so that's not a problem and yeah that's it hello pig ha 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 I'm so evil I love Minecraft 1.8 and yeah so 
this is then going to teleport me all the way where it um, calculated it. Uh, I'm just going to camera one demonstrate this once to you. Uh, but I first let me add that uh, command box um, setting me to uh, game mode two, uh, game mode three, which is the spectator mode, obviously. Uh, yeah, like this, and then I will just activate it. And you see, back there, um, this stuff is moving with the command blocks, and it's perfectly calculating where I want to travel. It's just so awesome. It was a lot of effort, but finally it's working. Now, you see, I landed here. It's awesome. Uh, what I can do then is basically first disable my F3. Um, now I see that uh, the redstone landed here in the end, so I can basically just uh, whatever, do something like say done or put me back in another game mode or just do the same thing I did back in the beginning of the video when I demonstrated it to you first. and. Since you don't need these sponges with the signs anymore, you can just destroy them and run the whole thing as often as you want. Just make sure to be in the camera, have the camera objective, which is a dummy and so on. But yeah, I love it. It's so awesome. Yeah. So that's already everything about the video. I hope you enjoyed it. The filter download is as always in the description. See you in the next video. Bye!